Joshua 4.15 Vayomer Hashem el Yehoshua Lemor The subject is the Lord. And the Lord said to Joshua, saying... Now there's two forms of the verb amar, to say. Let's start with this first one, vayomer. Very, very common uh, driving forward narratives uh, using this term. It's on practically every page of the Hebrew Scriptures. And what we have is a kal, vav consecutive imperfect, 3ms. And so the way that these are formed, of course, is uh, there's the imperfect form, and then added to the front of it is a vav, ptak, and a dagesh in the first root letter. Uh, so that's why we, we have the, the dagesh in the prefix pronoun of vayomer. Lemor is also very common. It, uh, too, comes from amar. In this case, we have a kal, uh, infinitive construct. And there's a la attached to the beginning, as there often is with infinitive construct. Now, in the case of lemor, we can translate it something like saying, and that, that's an overly literal way to do it. But basically, lemor functions just about like uh, quotation marks. So it's worth noting that as we've seen all through this passage, there's a strong function of the passage on uh, giving testimony to the Lord's direct intervention and instruction of all the events of crossing the Jordan and beginning the invasion of the land of promise.